three, two ways that you can deal with them. You, you can either conquer them, and that's always an open uh, possibility, or you can deter them. Uh, and we are engaged right now in forceful deterrence, but I have to say we don't rule out anything. We hope we can restore quiet. We hope we can restore it quickly. I want to uh, say that we're doing that while doing our utmost to avoid civilian casualties. Uh, because Hamas is embedded deeply in uh, civilian areas, because it uses civilian human shields, democracies have a choice. They can say there is nothing we can do. We will absorb attacks, okay, against our cities. We could do that. Or we could level the cities. In World War II, when Western cities, specifically London and some British cities, were targeted this way by thousands of rockets, the response was to level cities. I admire Winston Churchill. I think he was one of the greatest leaders in modern history. I don't criticize him for anything. I think he did the right thing under those circumstances. But this is not our response to the firing of thousands of rockets on our cities. We do something different. We try to target those who target us with great precision. That is not as surgical an operation as it is. Even in a surgical room in a hospital, you don't have the ability to prevent collateral damage around the affected tissues. Even then you can't. And certainly in a military operation you cannot. But there is no army in the world that does more than the Israeli army in the Israeli security services, in Israeli intelligence, to prevent collateral damage.